All right, so today uh, we're going to run through oming this motor out. And we got Dan with us, and he's going to help run us through this process. Now, we just got done making this motor. So what's the process for oming this out, Dan? All right, so the first thing you're going to want to do is move your leads over to the ohm side. And then move your dial up to ohms. Again, we're going to be using the same alligator clips. Just makes things a whole lot simpler. We'll put one lead on T1, the other lead on T2, and we have 4.8 ohms. Okay. T1 to T2. And you can do it in whatever order. We'll just move the one that was on T2 to T3. And now we are going between 1 and 3, also 4.8 ohms. Awesome. And then we'll move... T1 up to T2, so 2 to 3 is also 4.8 ohms. Okay, and that's the reading we should, not necessarily the ohms, but we expect consistency among those, right? Consistency, yes. It'll vary by the size of the motor, what your ohm reading is. Okay, and if you have something that you're questioning, talk to your foreman. Yes. Thanks, Dan.